Amazon Prime Day is here and this is the last day, so I will make a video about the best PC builds that you can get with these deals and also some of them are from the new egg fantastic sales day so no matter what your budget is you will have a PC for you and if your budget is not on this video it's gonna be in the description anyway so let's say you have 500 dollars to spend or you have 4000 those budgets will be featured as well in the description and of course the ones I'm gonna mention this video if you're a beginner I will explain everything as simple as possible and I will explain what each of these PCs are capable of running and the average FPS that way you understand the level of performance that being said let's start with the first one we have a budget $750 system that has the Ryzen 5 56 with X because right now the 56 with X and the 56 with are at the same price and the 56 with X is slightly better this is a great 6 core 12 thread processor that will not bottleneck most GPUs on the market so it's a great deal for the CPU cooler we have the Thermal Right Assassin X120 this one is only $18 you can get away with the stock cooler for this Ryzen 5 but honestly just for $18 you are improving the noise overall of your system and also the temps. For the motherboard we have the Astro B550M PG Riptide Micro ATX motherboard this one is 90 bucks honestly a great price for this type of motherboard and it has all the features that we're going to need. For the memory kit we have the Silicon Power Gaming 32 gigs of RAM kit this is 2x16 of DDR4 at 3200 MHz. For gaming you can get away with 16 gigs however 32 gigs of RAM became really cheap and at the end of the day you will get a better streaming performance so if that's something that you're interested about 32 gigs of RAM is a no-brainer also if you're going to do content creation then for the storage we have the crucial p3 one terabyte of gen 4 ssd this ssd is really fast and it's only going for 40 bucks now you can go with a gen 3 ssd for around 35 bucks or so but honestly just to say five dollars i don't think it's worth the difference to consider going with a gen 3 ssd instead then for the graphics card we have a discount here in the rx 6700 xt it's going for 300 dollars and let me tell you this is a great 1080p and 1440p gpu let's say you want to play at 1080p on a 13 game average on ultra settings at this resolution it managed to achieve 136 fps which is actually really good for the price and at 1440p on the same 13 game average on ultra settings it has an average of 106 fps honestly i believe this is the best 300 dollars gpu for gaming in the whole market now if you're going to play esports titles such as valorant or fortnite or let's say csgo these type of games are really easy to run and even at 1440p you will be able to run this at above 144 fps on average and even above 240 fps depending on the game and the settings so if you want a high refresh rate 1440p or 1080p monitor you can take advantage of it because of how powerful this system is and all of this combined with the fact that it has 12 gigs of vram which is essential for 1440p gaming in the future and also for triple a titles right now then for the case we have the bitphoenix nova mesh micro atx mid tower case i absolutely love this one I recommend it a lot because it has three pre-install fans, a front mesh panel, great airflow overall, and the price is decent at $60, so for me, this is a no-brainer. And last but not least, the power supply, we have the Thermaltake Soft Power GX2, 600W 80 plus gold power supply. This one is CT rated, totally fine for this type of build. The total price for this PC by the time that I'm recording this video is $749 with 83 cents. Maybe when you're watching this, it's different, so make sure if you're gonna buy a PC build, do it as soon as possible because deals are not going to last forever, especially not the Prime Day ones. Now we have the $1,000 PC and honestly this one is a 1440p piece but you can also play at 4K with no issues. First let's talk about the CPU, we have the i5 12600K, this is a 10 core processor that is great not only for gaming but also for content creation and at this price point for $1,000 before Prime Day, I used to recommend the Ryzen 556 anyway because it's a great value however right now at that same price we can get the i5 2600k which is a better cpu than the ryzen 5 especially for content creation and productivity work but also for gaming for the cpu cooler we have the thermal right assassin x120 this is the same cooler and it's going to be fine for this i5 2600k 
but you can upgrade it to a better cooler if you want for around 20 to 30 extra bucks. Then for the motherboard we have the Athrock B660M Pro RS Micro ATX motherboard, honestly great deal here for 90 bucks and yes if you can go with the C690 it's gonna be much better for the i5-12600K but this one is absolutely fine especially considering we are working with a tight budget here. For the memory kit we have the same 32 gigs of RAM, same for the storage, that same 1 terabyte of Gen 4 SSD and for the graphics card we have the RX 6800XT which is much better than the 6700XT. For you to understand how powerful this GPU is, on an 18 game average at 1440p high quality settings, the average FPS for this GPU was 157, really similar to the RTX 3080. So yes, you can run any game at 1440p ultra settings with no issues, even the most high demanding titles. On that same 18 game average at 4K, it has an average of 93 FPS. Honestly, insane for this price you're spending a thousand dollars and you're getting a 1440p but also 4k capable computer and like i said before if you're gonna play esports titles or not even esports titles let's say you're gonna play games like gta 5 red dead redemption 2 these are games that even at 4k you will be able to run with no issues on the ultra settings also the 6800 xt has 16 gigs of vram which is more than enough even at 4k resolution with the next pc we have one with the rx 7900 xt this is the 1500 dollar system and it has a 25 percent increase in performance overall if you thought the 6800 xt was a great deal which it is here we have even a better deal in the 7900 xt but the pc overall is much better not only because of the gpu GPU upgrade which it has 20 gigs of VRAM as well and it will not make a difference right now but for future titles maybe it will. But the reason why this PC is much more powerful than the last one is because you get a whole new platform in the AM5 platform from AMD. You get the Ryzen 5 76 Angry X which is going for the same price as the 76 Angry. You get a capable Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition CPU cooler. You get a Gigabyte P650 Gaming X motherboard, much better than the last one from Intel. And then we have 32 gigs of DDR5 memory instead of DDR4. Also, I chose a different case in the Fractal Design Mesh 5 2. I absolutely love the airflow on this one. If you don't like the RGB, you can always turn it off. And then we have the MSI MPG 850 watt. 80 plus gold power supply this is 8 year rated so really good quality it's worth to mention that the rtx 4070 ti is only around 25 dollars more expensive than the 7900 xt at the moment so you can consider that one from nvidia i currently have the 4070 ti on my system and it runs amazing at 1440p so if you really need that content creation performance or you really value ray tracing or you want frame generation technology you can go with the rtx 4070 ti however if you want the best price to performance the RX 7900 XT is a great choice and it's my limit for 1440p gaming. I wouldn't spend any more money than $1500 right now for 1440p and honestly the 7900 XT is even great for 4k gaming on ultra settings which is insane. And last but not least we have the $2000 gaming PC build. Honestly I couldn't max out the budget is $1911 by the time that I'm recording this video. Maybe after the deals this one is going to be more than $2000 but right now you end up saving at least a hungry bucks and we have a better CPU GPU combo with the Ryzen 7 7700X and the RX 7900XTX which has more VRAM than the 7900XT and much better performance for 4K so if you're thinking of doing 4K ultra settings this is the PC I recommend you buying I wouldn't recommend it for 1440p I think it's a total overkill but if you want the best of the best and you have a budget of $2000 for gaming this is in my opinion your best choice you also have a better motherboard CPU cooler and a different case in the NCXC H7 Flow which is my current GPU on my system but this one has pre-installed RGB fans you can always turn it off if you don't like it now I'm not sure but I think the exhaust fan on this case is not included and that's why I chose an NCXC F120 extra fan for the back however I'm not a hundred percent sure about this and then for the power supply we have the same MSI 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply we have the same 32 gigs of RAM but here we have two terabytes of Gen 4 SSD 
instead of one terabyte from the last system. But of course, you can go with the same two terabytes on the last one. It's just going to be a bit over $1,500 at around $1,520 to $1,540 bucks. Now, in the description, you will have PC alternatives because let's say you want a white PC instead of a black one, you will have an alternative for each of these PCs. And you will also have bonus PCs for $2,500, $3,500 and 1200 as well. So you have a PC for every budget, basically in case yours wasn't mentioned in this video. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will try to reply as fast as possible. And if you want a private PC instead, I recommend you watching my video about the best Amazon Prime Day deals for private PCs in the top right of the screen. And you need to hurry up because today is the last day for these deals. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.